Oh, all right, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to some more Crooked Man. I just got Sissy's box. We're gonna try to take it to her, and I am don't think it's gonna go so well. Yep, she's not here anymore. She's not here anymore. How did I predict that? She's wounded. Did <laughs> I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but... Okay, I don't like that it's getting louder. Quiet. Oh boy. <laughs> I mean, I did tell you he was coming. Oh, is this it? Is this what's gonna finally make me step up and, and do it? Is I have to defend the damsel in distress? Yeah, yeah, you get you back off, monster. Yeah, David's here. You don't you don't scare me with the same image you've showed me like four times. I'll take care of this. Shing! I've got a fruit knife and I'm not afraid to use it. Guess it made me save it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Just die. Holy crap. First try. First try. David. David lives. I'm not even out of breath. I didn't even break a sweat. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I stabbed it to death with a fruit knife. His days are diced. Oh, well. I mean, I'd probably break down in tears too if I just saw a monster. Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? Why did you not believe me when I warned you about it? <clears throat> I just didn't want to forget him. I, I just wanted to have my own memory of him at least while well, I got the box. Is it because I'm s such a wimp? Is that why this happened? Can, can, I, can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Somebody... Someone, somebody, help. I did help. I'm literally right here. What was that quick flash there? It was like, it like showed two images at once. What's wrong with being a wimp? Is that the wrong option? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? That's when she turns into a monster and kills me. You know, I was dumped a few months ago too, and I was sure we were going to get married. Yes, me too. That's right, sissy, me too. I've even been called a sissy as well. I was dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how much I was a coward. How I was such a coward. But I'm... I... <sighs> Wow, my dyslexia is hitting me hard today. I always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. Wow, letting it all out, David. I couldn't be I couldn't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. I've decided I wouldn't give up either, and it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to throw it away. Take good care of it, okay? 
I'm sure the one you love will understand. And I know all, that I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Did the box come with a key? Is that the brass key I picked up earlier? Hey! I picked it up around here. It was... Why? <laughs> I freaking called it. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Monster comes out. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Did you guys not? Are you just going to ignore the fact that it could be potentially her ex that was the former tenant of my house who put a crack in the wall and led me here in the first place? Are you going there, David? D D I almost called him by his actual name. David, are you almost going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. It sounds like I'm looking for your ex. I'll escort you home. It's dark out, after all. It'll be alright. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well... The way she just darted back at me actually scared me. Well, and just like that, I, uh, yeah, it surprised me too. It surprised me too, believe me. But she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. I don't. My heart's beating pretty quick. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this address where he is now? I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. I mean, scene one completed, scene one completed, how many scenes are there? I wonder if the, how long this game's going to be. We'll save that in data number four. Apparently I've been playing for two hours in total. What a coincidence. Scene one complete, achievement unlock. Sounds like a vehicle. Sounds like a pitter-patter of fitter-fatter footsteps. Oh good, another dark, creepy place that took almost an entire day. Of course it did. Of course we're going to come here when it's dark again. Bet you we're going to run into our good pal with a... Did you keep the fruit knife? Because you might need it again. I mean, you could have also stopped along the way and got a, a better knife or a gun or something, you know. Julia Stone Law School, set for demolition. Oh, excellent. Oh, school from the leaflet. Nice. It's come full circle. Oh, a fire extinguisher on the floor. That's nice. I do not like the ambience in here. Boys' bathroom. Girls' bathroom. Can I go in? Can I go in? Hmm, neither. All right. Hallway locked. I know. I get it, I understand what's on the billboard. Exam results. Man, this place looks big. Another fire extinguisher on the floor. Vending machines don't work. Oh, hey, immediately I find something. Fire hydrant, that's a fire hydrant? If you insist, I'm not gonna question it. A name that leads Stacy Lizzie. Stacy Lizzie? There's a key by it. Of course there's a key. Got the infirmary key. Infirmary. Infirmary. We're gonna get some... Medical supplies? Some drugs? Maybe? Another piece of paper? A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind eastern bookshelves. Behind bookshelves. In basement, needs repairs. Alright. Breakable wall, I'll keep note of that. 
list of faculty. It's probably gonna. Stacy Lizzie, doctor. All right. I don't know why that what that means, but hey, infirmary, nice. I don't see anything immediate in here, so we're just gonna save. What? Found the parlor key, all right. Push the chair. Check the garbage. Empty trash can. Sleep. Alright, well, moving on then. What key did I get? Ooh. Parlor. Alright, where's the parlor? Upstairs? I wasn't expecting something so soon. Was, was, was there someone there? I couldn't really see in the dark. I could, I could. There was somebody there, David. David, there was somebody there. There was somebody there. The vending machines don't work. All right, well, I'm out of time for this episode today, but thank you, everybody, so much for watching. We'll be back with more Crooked Man soon, so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss an episode, and we'll see you in the next one.